Welcome back everybody to another special unboxing video here with Crit Hit Wild. Today we will be unboxing Rogue and Gambit. We do have early access to these models and uh, their uh, US release will be um, I believe the second week of February. Uh, if that's incorrect, kind of please let me know in the comments and we'll make sure uh, to let everybody know who doesn't uh, check the comments. All right. So we're going to get right into it here. We're going to get the Rogue Miniature, a Gambit Miniature, two bases. We're going to get two character stack cards, four team tactic cards, one crisis card, and nine tokens. So, all right. Let's get everything out of here. That's everything. Oops. All right. And uh, this will be the wave that's going to start on these QR codes. So you're not going to come with any instructions. It's going to show you how they're done. Um, you can scan the QR code to go to the website and it'll have um, a download the assembly instructions. However, they are not currently active since they are not released yet in the U.S. Um, hopefully they get those up soon. Um, and everybody who wants to get those built can get those built. So. We're going to get everything, try to keep everything a little tidy here. Alright, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and look at the, let's go ahead and look at the models here. Get those out of the way here. So, Gambit and Rogue, uh, both on small bases. Looks like nine pieces for Gambit, so nothing too crazy there uh, for Gambit. And we got Rogue. Rogue's got a lot more going on. Uh, only one extra, one more piece. Uh, but she's got a little bit more going on there. Nothing too crazy. Um, but pretty exciting. May not need instructions to put those guys together. Uh, I'm not the best builder. And they didn't look too difficult to me. So maybe able to get those put together without the cars. Now let's get to the good stuff. Alright. Alright, so we've got three tokens of Gambit on it, one with Rogue, and then the five tokens for the Secure. It is an F location, so those will be those five. I'm pretty excited for that new uh, for that new card here. Let's go ahead and get that up on the screen. 20 points secure um, for F. Uh, it's gonna be pretty good. I think uh, I think a lot of people are pretty excited about it. Uh, I am. I know I am. So I think it'll be pretty, pretty exciting to get all those on there. Uh, all right. So. All right. Let's go over the uh, tactics cards. All right, let's try something else. Still not going to get it. We'll have the picture up here for you. I will read these cards off to you. So, Pardon Me, Sugar. It's an unaffiliated road card. During Rhodes activation, she may play this card. It's like one of the following effects. If Wolverine is within two of Rogue, Rogue will gain healing factor two superpower this activation. Wolverine will suffer one damage if Cyclops is within two. Rogue may use the Optic Blast attack listed on his stat card once this activation. Cyclops will then suffer one damage. If Storm is within two of Rogue, Rogue adds two dice to all attack rolls for her next attack action this activation. Storm suffers one damage. If Deadpool is within two of Rogue, choose an enemy character within two of Rogue. This chosen character loses two power. Deadpool suffers one damage. If Magneto is within two of Rogue, she gains cover against all attacks targeting her this round, and Magneto suffers one damage. So, and then we've got one more Rogue card here. So, mind if I cut in? Mind if I cut in here? See if we can get these. I do apologize. Nothing's wanting to focus today. So mind if I cut in, Rogue may play this card. This round when an enemy character is choosing the target character for a non-area or non-beam attack, and Rogue is in range and line of sight, the enemy character may pay one power. If they do not, the attack must target Rogue. For Gambit, we have Charming Thief. During the power phase, Gambit can play this card. Uh, this round when an enemy character within four of Gambit uses a active or reactive superpower, Gambit gains one power after the effect is Resolved. 
And for Dark Pass, this is a um, reactive Gambit card. During the power phase, if your squad is not using the Uncanny X-Men affiliation, Gambit may play this card. Each allied character within three of Gambit gains the stealth, stealth superpower until the end of the round. That one's a pretty good one. Um, I think he's going to see most of his play inside that affiliation, but um, that's still a good one, so that's exciting. So we've got uh, Rogue here first. We'll get Rogue's card up on the table. Uh, she's going to be a four threat, six health on the front side. She does have a charge. She is immune to poison. She is six on the back as well. on there for you guys. And Gambit's back side. Uh, Gambit's a three threat model. He's going to have threes on his defense and he's going to be rolling uh, five health on both sides. So, alright. And that is everything we've got for you guys here today with this video. Hope you guys enjoy and have a great rest of your day and stay safe and thanks for tuning in for an unboxing video here with Great Hey Wild. Have a good one.